इसे मैं ऑन कर दूँ काइंडली बनू सर मेरे को थोड़ा शेयरिंग का दे देंगे सो दैट आई कैन शो माई पीपीटी हेलो प्लीज हेलो यस तो यहाँ तो को होस्ट बनाइए सर मुझे पीपीटी शेयर करने का दीजिए परमिशन नो नो यू कैन शेयर पीपीटी योर सेल्फ नो इशू अच्छा सर आ नहीं रहा सर इस पे There is a arrow sign. Present now. Open your PPT on desktop. Open your PPT. Open. नहीं picture in picture तो नहीं होगा. मैं मेरे जो fifth icon है ना hand के पास जो बना हुआ है. इस पे आप आओगे तो इस पे पॉप अप हो जाएगा प्रेजेंट नाउ अच्छा यहां पे राइट नीचे की साइड में जहां पे आपने प्रेजेंट हां म्यूट एंड म्यूट किया हुआ है प्रेजेंट इज नॉट अवेलेबल लिख रहा है ना सर नहीं आ रहा है एरो पर उसमें प्रेजेंट इज नॉट अवेलेबल हमारे में तो प्रेजेंट नाउ लिखा आ रहा है सबके में आप जो अभी स्क्रीन दिखाई दे रही है ना गूगल मीट वाली इसी में सबसे पहला तो है स्पीकर फिर वीडियो फिर सीसी फिर स्माइली है हां जी उसके बिल्कुल पास वाला है प्रेजेंट नाउ यस सर यस इस पे क्लिक कीजिए आप हां प्लीज अब एंटायर स्क्रीन पे क्लिक कीजिए ठीक है सर हां फिर शेयर नाउ कर दीजिए और जो स्क्रीन पे पीपीटी है वो वाली स्क्रीन सेलेक्ट कर लीजिए ठीक है सर शेयर योर एंटायर स्क्रीन आ जाएगा शेयर You are presenting your screen. Yes. Huh. Okay. Yes. Huh. मैं भी आपने presentation वाली इस windows नहीं share की हुई है वो share कर ली. नहीं sir share की हुई है ना. हाँ अब आ गया है right right. Yes sir we are doing it. हाँ. इसे उसपे डाल लीजिए slide show पे. Slide show. Ah yes. So this is we'll take it later. So good evening to the students. This is the uh, topic is must. Uh, this is postgraduate diploma in education technology. Very important is first of all to understand that the what are in which form these question papers they you have to attempt. I'll take unit one later on. एक और था ना कि इसमें सारे यूनिट्स हैं वो देखो और इसको बैग में दिखाना मैं बताती हूँ यस नहीं नॉट द टॉपिक्स टू द बैग सो बेटा हाँ ना एक टॉपिक्स थे ना यूनिट्स थे you have actually five blocks and in each block in the first i'll be taking up now with the first block it has four units do we have that paper with you actually he told me that is the class is not there so yeah so i will be dealing with mes 032 and this whole course is basically this this is based on the communication and information technology And in MES zero three two, there will be four uh, five blocks. The first is the communication process. Second is the technology for education and training. And print. Uh, and the third block is print media. And fourth is audio and video media. Fifth is appropriate technologies. So 
so i will be taking up the first block that is communication process can i can i see the participants or i cannot no no so let's start with the first unit or first block that is communication process models and processes of communication so what are the name of the units which will come under these are come under these are model and processes of communication first unit second is communication for education and training third is classroom communication and the fourth is interactivity in the communication so let's start understand the whole whole topic is communication and it so we should have to understand the very in the very first unit we have to understand what is communication i i'll start here with it so yes this uh, what will be the uh, yes in this the topics which are to be covered in the first r what is communication first and the type of communications and this types of communications are then subdivided into sub topics and then models of communication and then communication process and the important is barriers in communication and what are the strategies for effective communication so let us see the first communication understand what is communication may i know the students who are on the can i have the picture of the students who are with me vikas yes ma'am i am yes. here okay so vikas the or there may be some more students or so so what let us first understand what is communication the whole teaching process whole training processes the word communication is an underlying thing so this communication has come up with the latin word communis which means to make common communication can also be defined as sharing or exchange of ideas information knowledge uh or feelings among two or more person two or more person means you can share with yourself also you can share with the public also you can share with the two people you can share with the masses also so different scholars have defined the communication in various ways some has defined it as a transfer of meaning some said it is a transmission of stimuli one mind affecting other mind sharing experiences on the basis of the commonness and this way they took the different meanings of communication and they put it communication generally means the exchange of messages with others but it can be oneself i just said you own self that is that you don't have another person around and or with the public so the the basic thing of communication why we are thinking of communication what are the functions of communication what is the utility of communication by this we can understand that what are the functions are that through communication we can share the information so if you or through communication uh, if we share the information means communication plays an important role in dissemination of the knowledge related into any form of human activities we go for the social functions political functions economic functions educational development so this way the communication helps to uh, work out global you don't because without sharing the information for example if you are not informed about the global warming or you are not informed that the pluto is no more a ninth planet of the solar system or some another systems what are the governance policies of the government running now so these are the informations which we require or we understand through the communication so that is sharing of the communication education and training which is the main fundament of this mas 032 so the communication results in the sharing of information as we read people who are uh, right from the childhood we are taught by our teachers in the schools we have explained it 
I can show you the way I have written for it. Mm -hmm. No, they are not. Okay, it's fine. Education, right from the childhood, we are taught by our teachers in the school, elders at home, thus various new concepts, skills, we grow up. So, uh, communication therefore helps a great role in orientation and training of teachers as well as the learner because it is both ways. Come, uh, right? So, this is, this is education and training. Like, for example, in socialization, communication fosters oneness in a society by exposing you to the different social groups with the different views. Means you cannot only, you don't need to socialize among this, but with your own views and visions, you can socialize among the communities, among the societies, which are from the different groups. And they have, they are, they can, you can make them understood through the feelings, emotions, hopes, and aspirations, how to socialize. Same is the one other functions of the communication are entertainment. I can take it better. Another is entertainment. I hope because I am taking as if I am teaching, but in Ignu we go for the counseling, of course. I hope you can understand the entertainment. How the communication can help you in that? Because if you you have to go for the literature or music or films or sports or other type of uh, entertainments, you really need a function of communication, right? Through it can be through any mode. It can be through cable. It could can be through satellite. It can be through the television channels and so on. Same is the, the next function of the communication. We, as we are looking on the screen, it is motivation because this, you need the younger generation to come up and get motivated. The stories are, for example, the stories are being told, are being, we share with them to overcome the odds in life and be able so that they can achieve the goals. And thus the communication helps to motivate, to achieve some rewards they help to reach some destination. They can make you, they can give you some visuals so that you can attain the goals. Persuasion, as you say, is uh, if some people, there are certain techniques, some products are being launched, for example, I can say in the market, and you they want you to use those products or they want to do, they want to take them into a function of that. So in, in such a globalized and a liberalized world, where there is a lot of competition, a lot of uh, consumerist culture is there, consumers are there. So this motivates, they can persuade you like that. Same is the preservation of culture. Like there are many epics, like in, in the recent past, we have, we, we have been showing during the COVID period, the Mabartha, the Gita, and similarly the Bible, Quran, with the younger generation or the people who are not aware of it. So these are that how you can preserve your culture. Again, you need a communication. So now the communication, what are the types of communication? So what do you understand? There are, there are, there are four ways. There are four types of communication. One is intrapersonal, interpersonal, group communication, mass communication. Can uh, the anyone of you can understand or can you can make me to tell that what is intrapersonal? Anyone of you? Ma'am, ma I am trying. Yeah. Intrapersonal yeah. communication. Com I say intra. Yes, first one intrapersonal. Right, right. So intrapersonal communication, communication to ourselves, our yeah. within our ideas when we reflect something when we're thinking about uh, some in future, you visualize our life and uh, that is intrapersonal communication. Correct. That we, uh, we ourselves think, we ourselves dream, we ourselves introspect, we self-talk, we sometimes smile when we are thinking something because we are analyzing something 
or we have uh, we are understanding or we are learning in among, among uh, in itself that we have made some today a mistake while talking to someone else it comes under the intra intra means within same you understand what is interpersonal i hope yes interpersonal yeah it can be both formal and informal which can take place anywhere i i understand uh, if you if the sender and receiver means if i like i am visible to you you are across through the media with me we can see the body language see the expressions we can understand uh, those things and can uh, understand and we can uh, the we can interchange our ideas we can communicate i can i can say something to you you can in turn respond to me this comes to be interpersonal usually uh, and the group discussion what is group communication it is something extension of interpersonal communication where more than two individuals are involved in the process of communication this can be formal as well as informal and the objectives uh, they have all the people who are in a one group they have common interest and in the goals and they have they assemble at one thing for example in the in every morning we go for a walk in a park so people of the same interest who are health conscious they are here they they gather there and they talk to each other or they communicate to each other which have a common interest among themselves like in the national seminars which are being conducted in our educational institutions or in a political in nature we have some uh, journal uh, journal uh, show, uh, show showcases so there the our people assemble to discuss the or the shareholders are there we understand this is come under the group discussion so group uh, whenever some collective decision on a problem or an issue of a common interest this group communication come into being so there can be divergent views but we have to converge them and to reach it at there of course there are limitation to everything all the members in the group sometimes do not freely participate so or one of the speaker may be dominating sometimes the people in the group they shy away talking to each other so there are limitation of each type of communication so in this is a group communication one then comes the mass communication what you understand by the mass communication communicator is separated from the audience they are not close to each other they are not present to in front of each other in terms of time and space in all this in all through mes 30032 i'll be talking to you again and again that whether the learner either the source of information and the receiver are nearby or they are separated through the time and the place so mass communication is usually in is come into picture when the audience in terms of time and place is at different place from the communicator so so and how can we do then so here comes the electronic devices the electronic devices you know very well print media can be there radio can be there television can be there if you go for the internet yes to the internet we can talk to each other and it is not necessary that the talking to the community is the same it can be of heterogeneous profile they can be different from each other they it is not necessary they should know each other yes with the developing ict we can think about the feedback from the receiver to the communicator it may take time but they can so the technologies are here, uh, developing day by day so that there can be the communication and feedback at the same time i hope i am clear to you uh, yes ma'am yes, everything is clear i hope i am clear till this you have if you have some problems you can talk to me sure so then that they have talked about the uh, before means i was stay, starting this topic i just want to tell you that you will be getting how you have to take the examination because when we start any paper we start any unit so we have to start any block or start that particular subject course 
we have to think this how the paper will come how you have to take the examination how the evaluation of your knowledge can be done so this is of 3 hours papers with 70% of this and you have you have uh, four uh, four questions of 600 marks each of uh, uh, 400 questions uh, four questions of 600 uh, words each you have to attempt and all the four questions are compulsory. So why we have to discuss in detail, they can ask you any questions and you have to write in all the four questions, 600 words. So 600 words means you have to learn the topic very thoroughly so that you can jot down, you can write the answers well. So I have, I thought in between to tell you that. So models of communication is one of the things. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma perhaps there is that in in previous, I completed my MS oh. Master of Social Work in NU. So 600 course, social work. Okay. Okay. So there are 600 type of question, long question, two question. But there is a choice. Ah. Out of two, choose one. Then again, out of two, choose one. This type of pattern I followed. That yes, time. yes, sir. But sometimes because this is 600 words, for very my focus underlying thing is you will have to attempt four questions. There can be internal choice within a question. But if a question is questions or beach me or likhao. But you have to write 600 words. When you have to write 600 words, you have to write words. So, your topic very you cannot uh, just uh, uh, you cannot whip around. You have to study it thoroughly. So, when you are studying a topic, you have to know what is internal in it. You cannot write abstract. So, this is my meaning. So, four questions are there. Internal choice can be. Right? Can I ask a question? Yes. Uh, what is the difference between the models of communication? See, see, I am taking up Manik, your ma ma Manik, Hello, ma'am. Ma ma yeah, please, ask, you are audible. Yeah. You are audible. Yeah. Actually, uh, in the question paper, that means when the question is given, then the answer must be completed uh, within 600 words. Suppose uh, if I complete everything in 500 words or sometimes 700 words, is it going to be an issue? This is about 600 words. Yeah. What they are put in the question is about 600 words. About, Please, yeah. yeah, they put it, they don't put the word exactly 600 words. Yes. About so what is some, less. Uh, sometimes maybe 50 words less or 50 words more than it is not. Uh -huh, good, yes, not but uh, yeah, sometimes uh, we don't read the topic thoroughly. You 600 words. So you have to read the topic thoroughly. So I am taking up this and I will be dealing these topics. Because if I give such a lecture, then you will sleep. It's a long duration of two hours. Sometimes you will learn even in this teaching and learning. That the sustainability of hearing is just after one and a half hour, you say you, you stop listening and you stop absorbing. So mera, I will like that you guys, I will put on questions to you. So that you can talk to me. And you can also come to study it. Uh, scheduling agar di hui hai, I know that my schedule is late because 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 my schedule you late because my schedule is late because my Overall, everywhere in teaching and learning, the things are same, some or anyhow. Only thing is that we have to think what things we have to put in, in this question. Right? So let me start, uh, let me now go ahead. There are models of communication. There is a word like models of communication. What do you mean by the model basically? Kya matlab hai inka? Model of communication. Is there are different ways, uh, means uh, model of communication help in understanding the process of communication. That how the communication process occurs. Basically, model is a graphic representation. Graphic representation, which is, which has been put into some pattern, some plan, 
और रिप्रेजेंटेशन मैं आपसे बात कर रही हूँ कोई मुझे कहे इसकी कोई ग्राफिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन बना दीजिए ये पैटर्न बता दीजिए ये प्लान बता दीजिए हाउ यू विल रिफरेंस हाउ यू विल गिव डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस डिजाइन ऑफ वर्किंग सो वी हैव टू थिंक और वी हैव टू ड्रॉ इट ऑन ए पेपर हाउ टू गो अबाउट इट द वेरी फर्स्ट मॉडल वॉज गिवन बाई एरिस्टोटल उसने सिंपल कहा एक स्पीकर बोलता है उसकी स्पीच होती है और ऑडियंस सुन लेती है इट वॉज थॉट दैट इट इज वेरी वेरी प्रेमेटिव मॉडल सो सम फ्यू मॉडल्स दे कम अप The the first came up in Les, uh, model in in model model 1948. Ye, model aisa hai ki here it was of course a political scientist Harold D. Lessel gave this. He involved few terms who, what, which channel, whom, what effect. So what do they mean by this? Who means okay who who raise who means who raises the question of identification who 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 raises the question of identification of source of message kisne ye source bana kisne ye message diya who says what is the source from where the message is come there are number of messages but who is the source from where this message came what is the subject of this message analysis of message इस सब्जेक्ट में इस मैसेज में कहा क्या गया और अगर ये मैसेज दिया गया व्हाट इज द कम्युनिकेशन चैनल थ्रू द मीडियम थ्रू विच द मैसेज हैज ट्रेवल्ड एंड एंड हु हु मींस हु विल विद हु हु इज द रिसीवर ऑफ दिस मैसेज व्हाट इज हु इज द ऑडियंस एंड द नेक्स्ट इज व्हाट इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ दिस मैसेज ऑन देम so these are the words and this model explain who what what channel who what effect through this model this is the concept then the second model came shannon and weaver model in 1949 the this is given by the shannon weaver and he considered one of the most it is considered to be one of the most important models of communication and led to the development of many other models so what he said you all are seeing on the screen this is a graphic or you can say a line diagram to express the thing they say there is some information source a message to be communicated out of the possible messages through this information source and this message you are would have seen on the arrow there is a message this message can be spoken or in a written word khali bola ja sakta hai verbal bhi ho sakta hai non verbal bhi ho sakta now this message will go to the transmitter this transmitter will transmit the signal from the transmitter to the receiver and the receiver performs the what will be the signal has received to the receiver now this receiver will inversion operation of the transmitter transmitter ne isko signal ne badla tha ab is signal ko isne destination tak pahunchana hai to receiver will what it it will reconstruct the message from the signal what this signal is saying and then this will reach to the destination he has given shannon and given a word noise the noise means jitni level par signal jana chahiye tha the the noise disturbance i the errors in the transmission problem in accepting the message for maintaining the uh, means this this refers the, hence so more the noise the noise is there less will be the communication done so it will need some building some redundancy uh, uh, you have to build up you have to reduce this thing so there are certain criticism for this because this is totally a hardware uh, concept has taken into being some engineering problems engineering concept has taken into account while designing this communication graphics and it does not there is no feedback mechanism hence these are the two drawbacks taken into this but till still it is the best model which is being considered and many new models came out of it so my dear students then the third uh, model which came out was charles oswood's model in 1994 
what does this say? He says that communication is a dynamic process. Yes, we all understand. Communication is never static. Communication is an art. It is a skill. It is a science. It is it encompasses everything. So it is a dynamic process. Yes. So what is there? There is an interactive relationship between source and receiver of message. An individual engaged in the communication passage sends as well as receive message. You are seeing that there is an there is a uh, the graph shows that the message is being decoded as well as encoded, and this message is sent to the end. the second party, and the second party can also decode. They can encode and send the message to the first person. Means both the persons are interacting by decoding and coding the messages, and thus there is a feedback mechanism. If I say Okay, Vikas, let me know about you. And if you can understand my language and you just you revert me back, it means you are giving a feedback to myself. If I'm asking this set of queries, you are giving some feedback. to. If I'm saying you are understanding, you are giving some feedback to me. So this is what the Charles O's model means, the receiver and the interpreter. Both are interpreter, both can decode, both can encode the messages. So this is Oscoot method. Then there came the... Shekram model in 1954. You can see that this is a model, uh, this communication model to a, it is, uh, it is a simple human conversation he has put in. The second module is the process as a process of sharing experience and community of experience of those communicating. If you simply see it is a simple form of Schengen Weaver model. Source is there, encoder is there, where we are looking for the transmitter. Then they send the signal, and the, like there, the receiver uh, decodes the message. Here, the decoder decodes the message and reaches the signal. So, this process of sharing of experience and community of experience. Also, so, you can understand here, there is a this model accumulates experience of two individuals engaged in communication. Is emphasis unlike it is a uh, it is unlike a linear model discussed earlier. Ki this is a one way flow only, not a double flow. There is no two way flows. The figure is not to be written. The source can encode and communications become easy when the both uh, the uh, participants have a common field of experience. If the circle do not meet. There is absence of some common experience, which makes the communication difficult. They says they should have some common experience. And this is the way both can encode and vote. It is a mixture of Osgood's as well as Schenken Weaver model. So now I the topic which comes under this unit is communication process. See, uh, students, any communication for any communication process, there you have studied what are the models, what are the graphic diagrams for them. So they, we can understand there are certain elements of communication which makes its communication continuous. So what are these elements of communication? So these elements of communication are source. Who is source? Source is the person who decide to communicate a message which channel is to be selected for the message and what type of strategy is to be planned so that the message makes the desired response the sender here is the source and it can provide you verbal non-verbal cues that can be received inter interpreted and responded to the receiver so now the next element comes, this is the source who is basically deciding everything, deciding the strategies, deciding the channel, selecting the message. Now what is the message? Message is the sign and symbols which are given by the source to create meaning to the receiver. Content which is shared between the participant and communication process. This is the message. Then what is the channel? 
channel is the basically channel is the medium used to communicate a message from the sender to the receiver and the channel could be spoken spoken word printed word electronic media in modern communic uh, in communication parallels in our days the word channels mostly refers to the mass that can be number of channels can be used just to explain just to send your message to the destination or to the receiver and then come the receiver of course you understood by you can understand that <coughs> receiver for whom the message is being meant if the receiver should receive the message in the same way it was meant by the sender whatever the sender has framed whatever the sender has thought of that same message should reach to the receiver and what is the noise because i have given you in schengen we were model the new word noise has come noise i, I have told there too that noise is a disturbance noise is the distortion in message it affects the flow of communication noise could be due to internal as well as external resources sources noise create what is what is what will happen if the noise is there it will create barriers in communication and it can be of many times and it will hinder our communication i'll take the next topic when i'll take the next now the what are uh, noise as i told so it means you could understand the noise is a barrier now the next element of communication is the feedback the sender has the sender has sent to the receiver the message has been received and if it is only one way i am talking to you and i am not able to listen you i am not able to interact to you then it is not it is not considered to be a two way process so if it not a two way process i hope learning and teaching is incomplete so feedback is the is you can understand word that the receivers we send the response to the sender is the feedback now in this chapter you have the barriers in communication these are the elements of uh, communication which i discussed means these are the topics which are the important components of communication so what are the barriers in communication i said who is the creator noise is the term which has expressed as a barrier interference in communication between source and the receiver successful communication is one where message is conveyed undiminished jaisa bola jaisi signal bheja waisa mile there is no distortion so some of the barriers i will be discussing with you now what are the barriers physical barrier i hope you understand what is a physical barrier physical barriers are the geographical distance i don't know if you don't have the proper internet you don't have the proper communication or you don't have the proper equipment and you people are sitting away from me in bihar or somewhere at the hills there are certain physical barriers that can create hindrances that can create noise so physical distance may not so for a people who are interested uh, they are interested to communicate with their experts they want to talk to them but there are some geographical things there comes into the physical barriers same is the psychological you are looking the second i have written as psychological barriers the slides i hope they are clear to you are you able to see manik vikas anjali the the slides which are being yes ma'am ma we are seeing your slide yes yeah. ma'am so psychological barriers what are psychological barriers psychology means it is a science which talk about you which you talk about a person means every person is an individual every person has an attitude every person has some different interest they have different motivation levels they they can perceive things i can see this apple is good they can see the apple is rotten so there can be different perceived things and situations differently so for that 
they may not understand or they may they may have hindrance or this may create a barrier in the communication some are social cultural barriers social cultural barriers uh, i hope you can understand that in if i take an indian con contest the women will if there are some women and the men both are the listener both are communicating both are on the same platform both are communicating to each other the group is communicating so if there is some problem with a woman the indian woman may not share in front of the male she may not like to discuss out of the realm of their family this type of social cultural barriers they exist some societies are less vocal they may not like this may uh, they they cannot speak they shy out so these are some social cultural barriers which are they hinder the communication linguistic barriers sometimes the process of communication there can be a faulty expression suppose i am talking to you and i am not using the right vocabulary suppose i am not versed with that i am i'm not using i'm using ambiguous words suppose my translation in hindi and english are not good my expressions are not able to satisfy your listening you may be so these type of language issues words and symbols used to communicate facts and information may be different for different persons so these type of things they really create hindrance uh, to in among among the among the different individuals technical barriers what are the technical barriers technical barriers also make the process communications complex the sometimes i'm talking to you audio capacity my uh, the audio quality is poor suppose the video signals are weak the message may not be clear may reach to the target group so erratic power supply can be there these are the barriers as technical barriers are come where the technology is being used there can be some problems with the software and hardware barriers due to the information load sometimes there is lot of information which we impart and to comprehend it will sometimes become very difficult to comprehend them to assimilate them and thus we are not able to pass on the information with a fast pace for a, so it takes considerable period of time and many issues and concept may lose at the end the whole information may go in the parts and hence this information overloading can also create a barrier i hope i am clear till now bolni yes ma'am yes i i hope i am clear till now any issues no madam there is no issue okay so there can be aap aapke barrier bhi hain so how you can you cannot say if there are barriers we have not to come over it there are the barriers we have isolated these are the barriers so what are the different strategies if we have to see what should be the strategy uh, to overcome these barriers why for the effective communication whatever i want to communicate what i want to transmit whatever i can to tell you i should be able to take effectively so what are the different uh, ways by which what strategies can be taken into account the clarity of messages first you understand the communic it is important objective of communication the level of language is kept you have to be very clear the language has to be simple it has to be brief it has to be clear most of the complex idea has there are some complexities in the ideas but you have to simplify it it has to be short it has to be in simple sentences and the sentences should be coherent they should be they should match each other the sentences should be small there should be if i am talking to you 
I should be using some English phrases if I'm talking in Hindi. I know where is the poongram, where is the where we have to stop, where we have to give the semicolons to it, where should be the voice modulation, which with clarity of message increases. If we take care of these small, small things that can help the communication effectively. Sometimes reinforcement of ideas. Reinforcement means sometimes we keep on repeating the things. We keep on boring the uh, learners. So we have to be, you have to say the same, same thing. But there should be reinforcement. You should be able to convey your persons. But the expressions and the words needs a bit change. How to explain, how to make the people understand. So there is an appropriate channel. I have taken a barrier. Can There can be some channel differences. There can be some technological problem. So the depending upon the time and objective of communication, what is the objective of communication? What is a selective audience? The, the success of communication depends if we know all of these things. So even it helps to create, uh, overcome the geographical uh, barriers. If we take care of it, that uh, which channel we have to use, uh, what is uh, uh, to avoid, uh, we, we have to think that the person who is at the receiver end should not go for some unnecessary investment. So uh, we have to see that the, uh, that infrastructure can be easily available over there. We have to see that channel could reach over there. They may have the cables over there. That signals can be easily received over there. They can be well connected with the satellite messaging. So these are the appropriate channels which we should choose so that we could reach the learner. Motivation, as I told you, psychological and socio-culture barriers, we can come out, we can move out throughout the learners out of the shell. How? The receiver in the communication present need to be encouraged by the uh, encouraged and by giving your uh, understanding their views by their opinions and uh, uh, satisfying their doubts and if they are very nice they are really coming up to the point you should give appreciation and increase the self-esteem and build their confidence i hope you are able to motivate them and you can overcome that social, cultural and psychological barriers. If there is a proper sitting, suppose I and you both are sitting, arrangements are good. We are able, I am a source, you are the receiver. So visibility of the source and the relevancy facilitates the communication. The can see, receiver can well hear me, they can see me, they can understand my body language. And this way you can come across the physical barriers. Feedback is one of the important strategies. That feedback is an internal component of any communication activity. Regular feedback, as if I'm asking you, do you have some problems? Are you able to get me? Are you able to understand me? So these are the feedback at different times at appropriate level facilitates understanding and the needs and views of the receivers. It can bridge the gaps. Agar meri baat aap tak samajhi nahi aare, and I am keeping on speaking and speaking, but agar aapka logon ka feedback aa jaye, ki hume ye baat aise samajh nahi aare, I can fill up the, or I can bridge the gaps. Whatever I am thinking, and whatever you are receiving, I can bridge that gaps, and proper communication can take place. So my dear students, these are the learners. These unit is over. The unit which I have told models and processes of communication is over with this. Now, if you want to read further, you have some references and suggested readings in your bag. And you can, if you want to go just through that, you can have a summary reading too. I have taken topic by topic what this chapter basically means what this ms032 started it started with the communication it started what are the communication how the communication is there what are the elements of communication what are the barriers in communication 
what are the strategies in the communication so we come uh, we are over with the unit 1 let me take you let me flow you through the unit 2 any queries in this can make me can help me to fill up or bridge gap the gap of understanding which i have just told you the next chapter the next unit i'm sorry is communication for education and training because basically is an education technology paper mm -hmm. can i take up with this yes ma'am okay let's move ahead ma'am if it is useful if you take इट इज अ लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन कहां कहां से लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन बन सकते हैं तो इस तरह आप हमें गाइड कर दें यहां से अक्सर लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन बनते हैं इस पेपर पे मैं गाइड कर सकती हूं यस मैं अगर आपके सामने पढूं बहुत अच्छी बात तो वेरी नाइस अब मैं आपको 2021 का क्वेश्चन पेपर पढ़ के बता रही हूं है ना अभी आपके जो टॉपिक्स में इस यूनिट को पूरा कर लूंगी तो मैं आपको वैसे एक बता सकती हूं फॉर रीडिंग अ क्वेश्चन एक्सप्लेन वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ टेली कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग मेरे सामने क्वेश्चन पेपर पड़ा है 2021 का तो वो कहते हैं एक्सप्लेन वेरियस यूनिट में है ना ये जो अभी आप यूनिट बताएंगे उसमें आएगा ये क्वेश्चन ये आगे आएगा अभी हमने ब्लॉक 1 में पहला यूनिट करा है और इसमें चार यूनिट्स हैं वी विल मेक आउट हाउ द थिंग्स कैन हैपन कैसे क्वेश्चन आ सकता है कम्युनिकेशन फॉर एजुकेशन एंड ट्रेनिंग जैसे यूनिट 2 है इसमें आपके आ सकता है कि क्या डिफरेंट व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट अप्रोचेस टू एजुकेशन कंप्लीशन की एजुकेशनल कम्युनिकेशन की क्या डिफरेंट अप्रोचेस हैं यू कैन हैव द यू कैन हैव द टॉपिक हाउ हाउ प्लानिंग कम्युनिकेशन फॉर एजुकेशन एंड ट्रेनिंग कैसे करोगे आप प्लानिंग कैसे व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट मेथड्स ऑफ ट्रेनिंग कम्युनिकेशन की ट्रेनिंग आप देना चाह रहे हो क्या डिफरेंट मेथड्स हैं जिसके थ्रू आप कर सकते हो तो जो जो मैं आपको लेके जा रही हूँ वो वो आप जैसे जैसे पढ़ेंगे और अगर आपके पास क्या क्या डिफरेंट कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स होनी चाहिए तो दीज आर द क्वेश्चन आपका जो यूनिट बनाया है इट इज वेरी प्रिसाइसली क्रिएटेड इन ए वेरी गुड वे दे हैव गिवन यू दैडर्स एंड देव गिवन यू दिस थिंग आपको अगर आप जर्नल आइडिया भी लेते हैं सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड कि क्या क्या विद लर्निंग विद मी You can understand how the questions can be framed. जैसे मैंने आपको भी बताया unit वन आपने मेरे साथ पढ़ी है आपसे क्वेश्चन आ सकता है कि बैरियर्स कौन कौन से हैं और क्या स्ट्रेटेजीज आप यूज करेंगे इन बैरियर्स को ओवरकम करने के लिए ठीक है तो दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन यू कैन फ्रेम इन द फर्स्ट यूनिट सो आई एम स्टार्टिंग द यूनिट टू ना कम्युनिकेशन विद एजुकेशन ट्रेनिंग आज तो मैं आपको बाय बिट एंड बिट ले जा रही हूँ आगे आप उसको पढ़ सकते हैं यू कैन कम प्रिपेयर विद योर ब्लॉक टू एंड आई कैन डिस्कस ब्लॉक टू विद यू और इफ यू विश आई कैन टेक यू लाइक दिस आपको डिसाइड करना है कि आप कैसे पढ़ना चाहते हैं अंजलि वो ज्वाइन करना चाह रही है अपने आप लेटिन करना होगा उन्हें परमिशन देनी होगी प्लीज क्या सर एक स्टूडेंट है उनका मैसेज है एक ग्रुप के व्हाट्सएप का वो ज्वाइन करना चाह रही है वो ज्वाइन हो नहीं पा रही है मैं मैं आप एडमिट कर लीजिए मैं इसको देखती हूं बेटा करते हैं अच्छा ओके वो बेटा आरसी चंडीगढ़ विल बी डूइंग इट आई होप वी डोंट हैव दैट सो टॉपिक है सबसे पहला लेट अस स्टार्ट विद इट कम्युनिकेशन फॉर एजुकेशन एंड ट्रेनिंग कम्युनिकेशन आपने कंसेप्ट पढ़ लिया कि कम्युनिकेशन ये है अब ये कम्युनिकेशन एजुकेशन एंड ट्रेनिंग में कैसे यूज होती है तो सबसे पहला एजुकेशनल कम्युनिकेशन नेचर ऑफ एजुकेशनल कम्युनिकेशन क्या एजुकेशनल कम्युनिकेशन की नेचर क्या है सो देर आर थ्री लेट्स गो है नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट या नेचर ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन क्या है इट इज थ्री वर्ड्स आर यूज्ड फॉर इट परपोसिव पॉजिटिव एंड प्रेगमेटिक 
प्रपोजिव जैसा वर्ड है वैसा ही इसका अर्थ है प्रपोजिव नेचर ऑफ द एजुकेशन कम्युनिकेशन allows the source that could be a teacher teacher is always considered to be stores when we are talking about the education to so what is why we say educational communication is purposive because it share information with the learner for a variety of purposes theek hai that uh, uh, they could be related to create the knowledge stretch their mental horizons they they need to be raised their levels of aspiration so there is some purpose behind that communication that why it is called purposive positive positive communication allow the teacher to attain certain positive values uh, to what one communicates agar main aapko kuch suna rahi hu to it should be attached with some positive value rather than with the hooliganism it should be harmonious it should create integration among the individuals and individuals as well as individuals in the society so uh, it should develop more understanding of an issue or should take a positive action so it is positive in nature what about the pragmatic this pragmatic implies that the purpose of communication has a practical point of view agar main aapko theory padhati jaau aur uska koi practical approach nahi hai so then it doesn't carry any approach it should be related to the learner's behavior whatever i am teaching it should be related to the behavior leading to the development of special specific skills and techniques so that you can take uh, you can carry out for some particular purposes there should be some public speaking it can make you to go for a debates you can argumentations public speaking are the example of pragmatic communication which helps a student to make some decision making to take some decision making decisions so these are the nature of the education communication i go to you now what are the approaches to the education communication kya kya approaches hain communication approaches teen approaches hain ki communi education communication aap karte hain to kya kya approaches hain what is contiguous and non contiguous second is synchronous a synchronous ke spelling thode theek nahi hai beta zara theek kar lijiyega a s uh it has to be uh, the spelling you have to put an h across it is a a s y n c h it has to be c h r o n o u s i'll correct it communication direct and mediated communication so what is contiguous and non contiguous communication contiguous आपने वैसे भी साइंस में वर्ड पढ़ा है कि ये कंटीजिनस डिजीज है ये व्हाट यू मीन बाय दैट हियर द कम्युनिकेटर हु इज एजुकेशनल कम्युनिकेशन थ्रू विच इट हैपेंस एंड इट मे बी अ टीचर इज इन टच विद द रिसीवर मींस द लर्नर एंड दैट इज द लर्नर the communication takes place in an unbroken sequence it allows the proximity means they are close to each other between sender and receiver both of them are sitting together and and the communication is going on between both of them examples you can talk about like classroom communication sometimes sometimes we give individual communication uh, in the formal education system these are all come under the category of contiguous communication and what is non contiguous of course opposite of that you can say that for there are some examples i have written some there are drawbacks also for reaching out to large number of uh, learners it is sometimes it is very consuming and expensive because all the learners can not uh, physically come and present over there Uh, and if they are they can come there should be an adequate infrastructure ki unke baithne ke liye jagah ho 
all of them can be accommodated. So some these are the blackboard uh, drawbacks for contagious. What are for the non-contagious communication? It is, of course, there was unbroken sequence. There will be a broken sequence. Here the communicator was in earlier. It was in the touch with the, uh, the uh, with the receiver. Uh, means the learner. Here the uh, communicator is not in direct touch with the receivers. Uh, re nowadays. This communication is increasing as you people are listening to me. Uh, so this is being uh, uh, in the teaching curriculum. Basically, these type of teaching, uh, this type of approaches are being taken when we have to cover the core, sub uh, core subjects of the curriculum. We disseminate the print media. We go with the take the help of the print media and we go for this type of approach. So there's the learner and both of them can be at different pace and time. Then comes the second is the synchronous and asynchronous. Same, the participants in synchronous, the participant in the communication activity are present in the real time at same or different location. Eki samay par aap or hum, eki time par hai different locations par, par eki samay par this is synchronous communication. We, we can have this face-to-face -face tutorials. We can have this face-to-face -face audio conferencing. We can have, I am able to show you some videos and I can, I can talk to you. This is video conferencing. So these are the synchronous communication. Asynchronous communication, of course, opposite of that. It does not require simultaneous, simultaneously presence of participant. Uh, so, the teacher and learner do not meet face to face in real time, but can be in touch through technology. And the, what will happen to the learner? The learner can edit, it, information is edited, stored, and the learner can retrieve that information. Teacher ne information daldi, us time per student hai ya nahi hai, mere recorded lectures chale gaye. You have a greater freedom of flexibility and you just open it and just you read them. So this come under the asynchronous. Then comes the direct and mediated confirmation. What is direct? Teacher is in direct connection with the student. It, uh, it, kya kehna chahiye ki it, she, presents her topic, she explains the content, she guides and encourages the students. The student understand her through her gestures, through her body language, through her various tones. There is no medium to carry out the instructions between the teacher and the learner, and they can easily solve their issues together. Hence, this comes under the direct communication. But if the if you teach indirectly and get a touch with the learners through some varied communication means it is known as mediated communication. If we need some some medium, some channels like that, so teachers, some so students need not to be present at the same time in mediated communication also or at the same place. The content can be shared with the learner through various media like print course, material, audiovisual programs, and other information communication technologies like network of computers. Distance education you people are going through is an extension use of mediated communication. This we are using for the core teaching and learning materials. So this is this is direct and mediate. these are the approaches of, uh, of education communication. And how could what how you can approach what are the different approaches? Now there is one topic in this chapter uh, unit which says electronic communication. Because many of you may not understand certain words which are used. All the all of us we know that okay, ji online chale jaiye, internet use kar lije, so you can learn the things. You have to understand what is internet. What is this electronic communication? There are many modes through which this is being done. So electronic communication is through the internet. 
Internet is a network of networks. It is a network and having is connected to the number of networks which allow worldwide computers to get connected and communicate with each other. Sari dunya ke computers jodte hain and they can connect. The internet constitutes the backbone of our online communication, which is extensively used for education purposes. Now, uh, inter internet, uh, the computers who have internet, they have some can have stored information, but there is one word, www. What is that meaning? Uh, the, there is a world wide web. If uh, what is this world wide web? WWF, one can reach anywhere, any place, any time. And this is basically, I let you know that web, web, wild web, web is an application on the internet platform. And it has many stored information. And the stored information can be reached, can be navigated through hypertext that links different graphics, sounds, video cameras, in addition to the text elements. So these are the way this through internet with the world WW on it, you can do it. So there is another electronic mode which is very common to use that email. What is email? It is an electronic message sent from one computer to another over the internet. They use internet and this electronic message reaches from one to another. This can be done either in the form of a message or with the attachment pictures and documents. As you all know, email have some attachments. There can be some images which can be attached. So through these emails, there can be a text or pictures to which we can communicate, right? So email, uh, while writing some email, it is emphatically said, you should have some etiquettes which are to be followed. And these etiquettes are considered to be net etiquettes. While framing an email, you should be very clear uh, that the person you need to connect because if the person is not the right person, the, 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 the to whom you are sending, the mail can go to the spam. The message should be short and focused by using this electronic way to sending messages. One should avoid the capital letters. I hope sometimes we write in our email all the cap information in all the capital letters. It becomes difficult to read. And hence, the word is used while writing this electrical, using this way of communication. We say it as shouting. So these are the very small glimpse. We will be reading in our uh, block two how the electronic communication can be done. So this is just a brief, an over idea, just a flowing idea given to you how this electronic communication is being done in education and training. So how the communication for the uh, that there are two components we are discussing education and training i should let you know that education and training are the different two things training is an ongoing process aimed at acquiring some competences and skills for a particular job the main purpose of the training is what you have learned something but you, there is a gap between you and your job, your competences and the job. So the training fills that gap. So this is why uh, if I say the education, education and the both of these, education as well as the training are both purposive, both are pragmatic, both are positive. But the education is wider and journal. While when you are giving the training, it is it is totally a purposeful. It has some specific and utility. Is there some particular uh, utility for that? And generally for a short duration. But education, you know, it is for a longer duration. In spite of the difference between the both, 
there are the education and training therefore required uh, communication and how this training can be provided there are number of methods you know the lecture method you can very well understand is the oldest method of instruction it can be on any topic it can be given to uh, it is a one made of communication however good lecture involves effective interaction between the instructor and the trainee so basically it you all understand this is one way of communication for training another is discussion a small number of trainees get together and discuss on a topic at times a moderator who keep the discussion focused on the issue Right. for using discussion as a training method so you must have a diversion so this is at one of them is discussion then comes the workshop workshop is what workshop is a practical session in which the trainees learn by doing various exercises you all understand you must all of must have gone through this or must have uh, attended some workshops during workshop a group of people get together to work on a, some creative project and the emphasis is on doing hand on as we say hand on training rather than on theory so these are the workshops some brainstorming is another method in the brainstorming it focus specific problem or a specific issue and a group of participant they give their ideas in an informal manner Uh, place emphasis on a right or wrong answers free flow was ideas so these are just a thought process through which the people they just uh, go about induction and orientation program you can the training can be imparted by orientation you understand the employees and students they are given some short term orientation into specific areas earmarked for the training for whichever training you are giving the companies also upgrade you they send you for the another uh, for the training programs to update you and so that you can you can learn more about it apprenticeship so once you are going for a training a person who wants a particular trade uh, if the person gets training and, uh, and this is an agreement for a period both theoretical as well as practical training the apprenticeship works under a skilled or qualified person in order that the they can understand the trade for which they are going for so for a short duration they work under that uh, institution or a corporate or a person while internship uh, is uh, this is some specific period organized for advanced students for undergoing supervised practical training so debate fosters the collaborative learning trainees are divided into two groups one person from each ask the and against the problem and hence the arguments give you some understanding of the things so we can have many others like study bits with sessions demonstrations case study role play a number of methods of learning but important is there are number of methods but how the things come into there has to be some planning between communication for education and training without planning your communication which material you are going to use how you are going to use you cannot communicate you cannot transfer your ideas effectively so communication for in this the trainer beside having thorough knowledge on the subject he uh, should be a good communicator to come across some message to send the message effectively so some of the journal principles involved in this planning are selection of appropriate topic you understand topic of communication should be important and relevant to the target group should be interesting enough for the receiver it should be motivated it should retain your attention conscious effort are made that its uh, different view points be taken up 
in that topic and communication does not become a one way monologue so these are the principle which has to be taken care of selection some of a appropriate topic through which you can involve your learners too then there is that setting realistic goals of course i told you educational communication is purposive and pragmatic in nature so as you always have seen your books given by ignu there have some objectives there are some written what will be the learning outcomes so in the end of the communication you always before that you should set your outcomes you should set your goals you should be clear about your view points you should aim the communication you are aiming about there should not be too much learning objectives in one education transaction because the contents if there are too many the putting too much information in one communication transaction it leads to the boredom it can fatigue lack of attention so uh, so these are the at the hence we can uh, you can understand what should be the realistic goals before deciding this so i uh, here of course you have to decide uh, under this that what are the different strategies uh, or the learning styles you are using to pass on or to, to uh, how you can uh, how how the people with the different mindsets putting together the proper organization of content you have selected the topic you have settled your learning outcomes you have settled their objectives now how you organization of the content once topic uh, 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 care needs to be taken while structuring the content it needs to be broken into segments it needs to be broken it does not Uh, so uh, organization kaise uh, like your see your own ms032 we have the full code we have communication and it then we have blogs and under the blogs there are some units so it needs into segments and each segment should be sequentially properly paid if i am talking print media ahead of my communication there will be no fun of talking communication so their sequences should be proper of course they have to be in the factual and uh, obsolete knowledge should be taken away they should be uh, focused and specific and should not lead to generalities it should be uh, adequately supplemented with illustration examples and case studies and uh, uh, there should be features of uh, recapitulation uh, after you uh, after you deliver your uh, material or the learning messages so hence there should be the provision for recapitulation of the uh, salient features up once your organization of the content is there now you need to transmit now you want to reach so there has to be a selection of technology media is being increasingly used for direct teaching as well as for enrichment we all know this direct teaching involves teaching school or university curriculum using instruction media media is used uh, and the enrich uh, so selection of technology for education should be made with utmost care when we are taking formal or informal education system so we have to update yourself it i have told you that the whatever the media tendency of technology should be that it should reach easily should be easily available should be easily uh, should not be uh, more uh, investment is required over there so the technology uh, of course cannot replace entirely the human element but qualitative role of teacher will always be there the teaching can play in a crucial role 
in producing the content you know with the better uh, and technology will help them to reach to the learners and learners can also give some feedback therefore the new technologies are changing and they want the learner and the teacher or the source and the receiver interactive i i i, I like to hear while using any technology while framing any course the duration of education transi transition transaction also affect communication it should never be a lengthy discourse or a long presentation it should be interactive and it should give breaks and teaching visual aids can help you to be more attentive and because i was just discussing with you human mind can effectively receive information for a span of just 55 minutes to 1 hour at a stretch after that the attention starts waning so my dear students i'll want to ask you what is happening with you i have it is round about going to be quarter to 2 it's going to be quarter to 2 hours and i am teaching you that the course has to be short because the attentiveness is between 55 to 1 hour so what is your situation are do you have a fatigue are you saturated are you overloaded will you give you may response we are enjoying it ha huh? i am enjoying it ma'am manik what do you want to say ma'am i am enjoying your class ma'am you are enjoying my class wonderful so it means 55 to 1 hour is a wrong word given by the scientist you can really listen me and you can retain me you can continue with me for many hours is it so manik definitely ma'am thank you thank you very much welcome so my dear students let us now move to the i have taken you to the various planning how you will plan how you will plan your education and training programs now here comes what are the communication skills what skills you will adopt uh, there are there you all know whenever we communicate teeni tarike hain verbal written or through signs and symbols these are the how we give the message communications are generally done so communication is successful when both the information which i am giving you you may adopt any way main jo de rahi hu wahan aap tak pahunch raha hai aur aapko wo samajh aa raha hai jis form mein main dena cha rahi hu jis sequence mein main dena cha rahi hu wo tumhe samajh aa raha hai so writing and verbal skills are integral part of the education communication verbal communication when needs you, it has to be in a very simple conversational manner there should be proper inflections annotations you all know for written communication you have to write very clearly it should be legible and our uh, gestures and expression although aapke camera band hai i am not able to see you you people not able to look at me so body language gestures expressions are very important whenever we do whenever we give some verbal communication so let us now examine all these skills what are the verbal skills in education communication teacher is a source and assess of information needs to be shared with the learners it has to be done effectively so uh, verbal skills include flexibility with spoken language आपकी लैंग्वेज ठीक होनी चाहिए वट एवर द लैंग्वेज इट मे बी द पिच ऑफ द वॉइस शुड नाइदर बी वेरी लो वेरी हाई द मॉडुलेशन ऑफ वॉइस शुड बी देयर विच इज एबल टू कन्वे द वेरियड एक्सप्रेशन विद द एप्रोप्रिएट एनोटेशन द प्रोनाउंसिएशन इफ यू आर यूजिंग एनी लैंग्वेज मे बी हिंदी इंग्लिश पंजाबी उर्दू एनी थिंग बट द प्रोनाउंसिएशन शुड बी देयर प्रॉपर डिक्शन एड टू द वर्बल स्किल्स ऑफ द सोर्स द पेस ऑफ डिलीवरी is an important factor 
of this the delivery should not be so fast that it goes over your heads so these are the verbal skills we usually have to take care what are the writing skills writing requires great it has is of course significance you prepare your lessons for the students write chapters for the books or contributing to the research papers in academic journals there the writing skills come into picture while writing the sender should need to ask if it conveys the message with the clarity or creates linguistic or semantic error jo main bol raha hu wo likh raha hu pahunch raha hai ya kuch linguistic or semantic barrier create kar raha hai it is a verbose or three economy of word so you understand so does it scope for clarification and substitution while writing or anything you must understand certain these questions that are there jumps or breaks which need to be bridged i am writing some text one line second line does not have any relationship so this whether the whole write up conveys my meaning in totality or the concept is being cleared the writing skill should entail clarity and consciousness to understand it is going to be read by a receiver listening skills are the communication skills uh, attentive uh, listening is a is very important if you want to go for a good communication kyunki aap meri baat sun rahe hain aapko meri baat achhi nahi lag rahi you or if i am not ready for my critics i i am uh, and if i am saying you something you are not a good listener how i can make you how i can make you to learn so a good communicator puts a good communicator has to put a listener at ease she or he should stop talking once in a while invites your views which i am doing with you your opinions and others and concentrates on what is being said so this helps uh, if you are a good listener and if you could make this listener comfortable there can be polarity of views there can be appreciation respect or there can be critics over there one should be ready for everything and i also feel listening is not enough it has to be active and emphatic implying that listening your mind should be alert and your face and posture should reflect interest when somebody is <coughs> communicating with you so communication also have a questioning skills for communication you need a question you can work with the questioning skills also any communication is incomplete if it is a one way monologue is does not offer ways to interactivity means i and you cannot talk to each other we cannot interact with each other we can we cannot take a feedback from each other so question answer questioning something is an important tool of learning teaching for questioning is commonly agar hum teaching by questioning there is this technique is called this method is called socratic method if you are teaching and asking certain questions because learner agar so gaya if you don't ask the questions he or she will sleep it will help you to make them awake and to make them to listen what you are talking about so it helps to attract attention involve learners and level up comprehension and involve them in communication process so this questioning skill is one of the important skills my dear children i have gone through the second unit of the first block again i have finished with you are you read are you ready with the third unit also i can start that the third unit of block 1 is classroom communication what are your opinion should i go and please ask the questions the time is going to be over now मैम इस सेशन मतलब सात बजे तक चलेगा या बियॉन्ड हम सेशन को चलाने वाले हैं ये थोड़ा क्लियर कर दीजिए सात बजे तक ही चलेगा सर इसलिए मैंने कहा खत्म होने वाला है इट इज सिक्स फिफ्टी टू तो आप लोग मेरे से क्वेश्चंस पूछ सकते हैं
कैन आस्क आज मैम आपने तो बहुत अच्छे से एक्सप्लेन किया थोरोली हमें टॉपिक बाय टॉपिक ले गई उसको पीपीटी के द्वारा आप समझाया तो ये एक अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस रहा क्योंकि मान लो कि हमने अच्छी तैयारी नहीं भी की है तो यहां पर सुनने का एक एक, एक बार तो गो थ्रू हो गए हम लोग तो इसलिए मैं आपको थैंक यू बोलना चाहता हूं क्योंकि टाइम के कारण मैं इतने डिटेल में नहीं पढ़ पाया था पर आपके प्रेजेंटेशन के द्वारा थोड़ा सा समझ बनी है थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू सो मच विकास क्योंकि आप अगर एक कभी भी टीचिंग टेक्नोलॉजी जान हां जी मानक यस मैम आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली व्हेन यू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट व्हेन यू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द बैरियर्स इन कम्युनिकेशन पार्डन पार्डन व्हेन यू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट बैरियर्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन यस यस यू मेंशन यू मेंशन सम या यू नीड वन यस मैम यस यस देयर यू मेंशन सम ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स लाइक अ फिजिकल बैरियर psychological barrier social cultural yeah. barrier linguistic yes. barriers yeah. so there uh, you mentioned about the social cultural barrier and you have given the examples of some female that means uh, yes they may they may be shy they may have less vocal so can we mention that means their attitude or their behavior the way they express their shyness or their less expression uh, capacity uh, what what you want to ask what there there is Uh, the socio-cultural barrier that means yeah, 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 yeah. which you, which you have said that means regarding the example of females that means yeah uh, yeah in some societies females they have less voice they are not able to express themselves to others what they yeah, feel yeah. Uh, can yeah, it yeah, be this... the can it be also taken as psychological uh, barrier because their psychology is like that Psych- only they are yes, not able yes. to express see, see whenever yes very good mane psychology or the mindset of any person or the societal pressures they are one thing aap kisi ek human ki kisi bhi thought process ko psychology se ya culture se alag nahi kar sakte culture is what what you and i make and what are we our psychology says what is our mindset in which society we grow up in which religion we grow up, which is my what is my background how i am being taught at home mere maa baap ne mujhe kaise pala kaise mujhe bada kiya mere school ne mujhe kaise padhaya mere doston mein main rahi wo kya raha so this is all the factors are interconnected you can because socio culture kya hai hindustan mein ek patriarchal society hai purush pradhan society hai so the women in many villages they cannot talk about the women issues health issues ki baat nahi kar sakte women problems ki baat nahi kar sake aapne wo movie dekhi hogi akshay akshay kumar ki uh, wo kya tha pads jisme usne kaha padman padman ki aapne baat suni hogi wo padman ki movie bani kyun kyunki this is contemporary problems ko log lete hain ki the women अगर उसको बाहर जाना है दुकान से वो पैड नहीं ले सकती उसको शर्म आती है विच इज अंटिफिक प्रोसेस विच यू कैनोट नो इट नथिंग टू शाई अवे बट अवर कम्युनिटी अवर वीमेन हैज नेवर समाइम्स इन द पास नाउ द वीमेन इज प्रोग्रेसिंग बट स्टिल इन विलेजेस स्टिल इन मेनी फैमिलीज द वीमेन इज नॉट अलाउड टू गो एंड परचेज सटन थिंग्स तो ये कुछ कल्चरल बैरियर्स होते हैं आप जिस सोसाइटी में बैठते हैं जैसे अब आप सोचते हैं न्यूज पेपर में पढ़ते हैं ऑनर किलिंग ऑनर किलिंग पंचायतों में हो रही है पंचायतों में डिस्कशन हो रही है यू कैन नॉट मैरी ए गर्ल विद योर ओन ऑन योर ओन इट कैन नॉट बी योर डिसीजन जब तक परिवार डिसीजन नहीं करेगा तब तक नहीं मान्यता होगी अगर मान्य कर लेंगे आपको मार दिया जाएगा वट इज दिस दीज आर कल्चरल वैल्यूज बट दीज आर द माइंड सेट ऑल्सो i can say these are the psychological issues also am i rich, am i am, am i able to clear your point manik so i took much, the problem of health why these contests are advertised why the movies are constructed why the serials which are using nowadays the web series are coming they are on the pre- prevailing problems in the society and this prevailing problems have come into being because of the psychology of a human being so everything whatever we say they are the barriers and to overcome these barriers is the motivation making them aware talking to them appreciating their efforts 
So these are the strategies whenever I was talking about that these strategies will make them to come out of that. And when we are teaching all these things, I gave you another example. Aapke textbooks mein, uh, jab ab nahi textbook NCRT ki bani, to is topics ko bohat alak se jab ek topic hua karta tha, adult education, not uh, adulthood, adolescence. In topics ko bachcho ko jab ho padhaya jata tha, jab female male organs batane hote the, aapke reproductive system batana hota tha, उस चैप्टर को वो टीचर वो मेल हो या फीमेल हो उस चैप्टर को छोड़ देती थी उस हिस्से को पढ़ाती नहीं थी व्हाई बिकॉज़ वी आर नॉट सो ओपन टू द इश्यूज टू आवर स्टूडेंट्स टू आवर चिल्ड्रन इन आवर फैमिली वी आर नॉट सो ओपन टू टॉक पब्लिकली राइट सो दीस इफ आई टेक यू अनदर वे यू गो आई टेक यू टू अ स्पिरिचुअल लीडर ओशो you must have heard. So he he was a psychologist. He talked about an open community. But people didn't allow him. He has to run away to the America. Uh, ultimately, he was murdered. Why? The society doesn't allow. He cannot communicate with the society that you like anything till it is hidden. Once it is open, you, you don't like that much. So there are certain principles, there are many examples in the society which make us not to communicate. We know it, but we cannot tell. So this way, I took a very simple example of a woman that health issues are not being discussed because they shy out. They cannot, they can't say what is happening to them. So many diseases happen to them, but they cannot come out. And as a result, they die out. Any other query, any other person? I hope, Manik, I'm able to clear you. Thank you very much. Very much, man. Thank you. Any other query? Is my Jordan example? Adi Purushke upar the controversy chal rahi. Wo bhi sirf tere ka example hai. Haan, ji sir, kar please. I, your voice is not audible to me. Main nahi karunga. Abhi jo movie release hui hai, Adi Purush, uske upar the controversy chal rahi hai. Wo bhi sirf tere ki ek society mein Ramayan ko leke alag tere ki high, alag tere ki value hai. मूवी ने अलग से दिखाया तो लोग उसे एक्सेप्ट नहीं कर रहे तो यही तो आपका जो एग्जांपल उससे रिलेट कर पा रहा था उसे यस मनोज मुशिजिद ने जो डायलॉग्स दिए हैं वो उसके ऊपर झगड़ा हो गया क्योंकि आपने एक माइंडसेट बना लिया कोविड में आपको एक रामायण दिखाई गई थी वो अरुण गोविंद जी दिखाए गए थे लक्ष्मण जी दिखाए गए थे आप उससे बाहर निकलना नहीं चाहते आप सोचते हो कि वही वो लोग हैं जैसे अरविंद गोविंद जी ने अरुण गोविंद जी ने कहा कि मैं एयरपोर्ट पे गया तो एक लेडी ने मेरे पैर पकड़ लिए राम जी मेरे को इस चीज समस्या से बाहर निकाल दो जब मैं ड्रामा आई आई वाज वाज इन द थिएटर तो भी एक लेडी आ गई सो ऑफ कोर्स दिस इज व्हाट दिस इज साइकोलॉजिकल इफेक्ट्स दीज आर सोशो कल्चरल इफेक्ट्स वी हैव बीन टॉट टू बी स्पिरिचुअल बाय आवर इपिक्स हमारे इपिक्स हमें ये सिखाते हैं रामायण ये सिखाती है तो हम लोग माइंडसेट बना लेते हैं तो ये बैरियर्स हैं हम कम्युनिकेट ही नहीं करते हम कहते हैं हम नहीं सुनते तुम्हारा क्यों सुने हम तुम्हारा हम नहीं सुनते तुम हमारी थॉट के साथ नहीं हो तुम हमारे बात समझते नहीं हो तो आपके जो ये साइकोलॉजिकल बैरियर्स हैं ये दीज आर द बैरियर्स ऑफ कोर्स यू आर राइट सो शुड आई से थैंक यू टू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर फॉर योर पेशेंस लर्निंग and for under i am able to reach you this is important learner or teacher jab tak ek platform pe nahi hoga hum apni baatein ek dusre tak pahuncha nahi sakte so i am thankful to all of you but i am confused ki kal mera session hai ya nahi if somebody is from the technical side can you they can tell me madam yes it is there yes it is there kyunki yes. mujhe bataya gaya ki 31st july se 3rd of august tak hai no 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 it is there third fourth fifth and sixth okay sir that's fine thank you very much so thank you ma'am again i hope i should thank you i will like to post interactive raha aapne acche se explain kiya to be i i personally enjoyed your session thank you thank you so much sir thank you very much thank you ma'am so we'll meet again at 5 o'clock tomorrow good day okay. sure